Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, this is Teacher Dewis, your mommy tutor. Okay, so the last time I've discussed is about getting the reciprocal of a fraction. But today, I'll be discussing about dividing fractions. Okay, in dividing fractions, we will be using reciprocal of a fraction. That's the reason why inuna kong i-discuss ang getting the reciprocal of the fraction kasi kakailanganin natin ang reciprocal of fraction sa pagdi-divide. Okay? So, in dividing fractions, meron kang dapat tandaan. Okay? So, the first thing na dapat mong tandaan is when we are dividing fraction, we always get the reciprocal. Okay, and then after getting the reciprocal, we also get, or we also change the operation from division, it you change natin siya sa multiplication. And then, pag na-change na natin siya sa multiplication at nakuha na natin yung reciprocal, that's the time we use the rule in multiplying fractions. Okay, in getting the reciprocal of the fraction, we also need to remember na ang kukunin mo lang ng reciprocal ay yung divisor. Okay? It's not the first fraction but it's the second fraction, yung divisor lang. Okay? At yung div yung pinakauna o yung dividend niya, at is lang siya. Wala kang papalitan. Ikokopya mo lang. Okay? So, yun yung mga dapat mong tandaan when you are dividing fraction. Okay? So, to better understand ko ano yung mga sinasabi ko, let's take a look at these examples. Let's try to answer them. So, the first thing na dapat mong tandaan, una, kukunin ang reciprocal ng fraction. The divisor. Second ha, yung second. So, kukunin natin ang reciprocal niya. So, to get the reciprocal, we just have to interchange the position of the numerator and denominator. So, ang reciprocal nito ay 10 over 1. Okay? Next, if you change natin ang division, into multiplication operation. And then, kukopyahin lang natin yung 7 over 8 dito. Okay? Next, after natin makuha ang reciprocal at ma-change yan, we are now ready to get the product of the fraction. Okay? And in getting the product, we can do cancellation. So, we can cancel 8 and 10. We can divide them by 2. So, 4 divided by, I'm sorry, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, so since wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel, we are now ready to multiply. So, 7 times 5 is 35 over 4 times 1 is 4. And since... Ang answer natin ay improper. Kailangan natin siyang isimplify. From improper, it change natin siya sa mix. So I still hope you still remember how to change how to change improper fraction to mix by dividing it. So divide mo 35 divided by 4 as there are 8 4 in 35. So subtract mo we got 3. So, ang magiging mixed number nito is 8 and 3 fourth. So, 3 fourth is in simplest form. So, ang final answer ng 35 over 4 is 8 and 3 fourths. Okay? Next, what about this one? So, again, kailangan natin i-change yung divisor pagkuha ng reciprocal so we have to interchange yung 5 magiging nasa taas at yung 2 magiging nasa baba so 2 and then change mo yung division sa multiplication and then kopyahin mo lang ito 3 over 15 okay and then after that we do multiplication by cancellation so divide mo to divide mo yan by 5 so 5 divided by 5 is 1 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, so from here, we can still cancel 3 at 3 dito. Okay, numerator, denominator pa rin naman yon. So, ikakancel natin ng 3 at 3. So, eto magiging 1 at eto magiging 1. So, now we're ready to do multiplication. 1 times 1 is 1. 
and 1 times 2 is 2. So, the final answer here is 1 half. Okay, next. What if pag nag-divide naman tayo with the whole number? Okay, so last time I even discussed to you how to get the reciprocal of a whole number. Well, you have to remember wh what I have said late. Pag whole number, pag isusulat mo siya into fraction, ang denominator ng whole number ay always 1. So, etong whole number natin dito, if we write it in fraction, we just have to put over 1 as the denominator. Okay? Para hindi kayo malito, it would be better pag isulat mong ganyan as fraction. Para kapag kinuha mo ang reciprocal niya, mas madali. Okay? Hindi ka malilito. Next, now that sinulat na natin over 1, so fraction na siya, if we get the reciprocal of that, that will become 1 over 4. Kasi in-interchange na natin yung positioning. Okay, next, times and 8 over 9. Next, we'll do cancellation 8 and 4 by 4, so 1, and this becomes 2. And since wala na tayong pwedeng i-cancel, we're now ready to multiply. So, 2 times 1 is 2, and 9 times 1 is 9. 2, 9, it's in simplified form. So, yan na yung final answer. Okay? Next, what if yung dividend ang whole number? So, same thing, since whole number to at we're dealing with fraction, we can write over 1 here, okay, as the denominator of the fraction. And then after that, change this into its reciprocal, so this will become 3 over 2. And then change mo to into multiplication, and then 16 over 1, kopya mo lang. Okay, next, we do cancellation again. So by 2, so this becomes 1, and this becomes 8. Okay, so 8 times 3... Multiply na tayo, it's 24, and then 1 times 1 is 1. At since 24 over 1, ang denominator natin ay 1, so the final answer here will just be a whole number, 24. Okay? So, that's how we do it. Next, what if we are dealing with mixed numbers? So, just like what I have said dati, if we are multiplying mixed numbers, kailangan ang unang-una mong gagawin, kailangan muna natin i-change yung mixed numbers into an improper fraction. So, ganun din if we are dividing. Ang unang-una mong gawin, bago ka manguha ng reciprocal at bago ka mag-change ng operation, kailangan muna natin i-change lahat ng mix number into an improper fraction. Okay? So, i-change muna natin to into an improper fraction. So, 4 times 3 plus 2, that will be 14 over 3. Next, after that, this will be, get the reciprocal of this, yan ay 6 over 2, and then change mo lang to into multiplication. Okay, now we are ready to multiply. So, we can do cancellation 3 and 6 by 3. So, this is 1 at ito ay 2. And then 2 and 14 also by 2. So, 2 by 2 is 1 and 14 divided by 2 is 7. Okay, next multiply 7 times 2 is 14 at 1 times 1 is 1. At since ang denominator natin ay 1, we need to simplify this. So, the final answer is a whole number, 14. Okay? So, ganun yun. Next, what if kapag pareho naman silang mixed number? So, since pareho silang mixed number, bago tayo manguha ng reciprocal at bago mag-change ng operation, kailangan muna natin gawing improper. Okay, so we have to change both into an improper fraction. So, 7 times 2 plus 1 is 15 over 2. Then, copy, copyin mo muna yung divide. And then, 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2. Okay, next, since tapos na nating isulat, 
from mix to improper that's the time we get the reciprocal okay of the divisor so we get the reciprocal of that eto magiging 2 over 5 and then eto change natin siya into multiplication and then copy lang nito 5 over 2 okay so since tapos na tayo manguha ng reciprocal we can now multiply and do cancellation. So, we can cancel 2 and 2 here by 2. So, ito magiging 1 at 1. We can also cancel 15 and 5 by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. And final is we multiply 3 times 1 is 3. And then 1 times 1 is 1. At dahil nga ang denominator natin ay whole number, uh, I'm sorry, ay 1, so ang final answer natin dito is a whole number, 3. Okay? So, that's how we divide fractions. So, don't forget, if you are dividing fraction, you always change the divisor into its reciprocal. Tapos, kailangan i-change yung division sign into a multiplication operation at pagkatapos non you multiply and simplify those are the things that dapat mong tandaan when we are dividing fractions and of course kailangan mo ring tandaan when if it's a whole number at mix so kailangan natatandaan niyo pa rin yung mga process na yun okay so that's it for today i hope you learned something again this is teacher louise your mommy tutor please like Share and subscribe sa channel ko. And don't forget to click the notification bell para mas maging updated kayo sa mga upcoming videos ko. Bye! Thank you!